All right, I'm walking this butler away for good. See you, buddy. He's trapped back there. 88 construction, that's going to let me boost up to get the top jewelry box. And then I don't want to do construction for a while. Seems reasonable. All right, just missed it, but we hit uh, 89 Hunter there. We can now do Redwood Birdhouses without potting. We can also do Lucky Implings if we ever catch any. Up to 418 Herbivore. I've got a couple of fossils in here that we're going to clean off here. What we're looking like. Uh, five small, two medium, one rare. See if we can complete any displays and get some additional Slayer experience. We're actually able to complete two more fossil displays. One being a small and the other being a medium. I still have all these random fossils I can't add anywhere. So let's go ahead Use this experience on Slayer. See if we have enough to get a level. That was 3,500 right there. I think we're going to be short of a level by just a little bit. Oh, wait. We got one? Yes. 44 Slayer. Very nice. Uh, that's a good looking level. I can't wait to get this thing over 50. I mean, 44 Slayer, level 3 combat. That's, that's pretty cool. There's 81 Thiefing. Can now access a another room in the Pyramid Plunder mini game. Just decided to do this thieving level really quick. I don't know if I'll continue here or not, but having the full rogue, man, it really adds to this cash pile. It's, it's, it's not too bad money for training thieving. That's 81 with herb war. Um, if I could get agility thieving in. Herb War above 85, all of them. That would look so good on this level chart. But otherwise, um, we'll just continue on leveling up. All right, just did an easy clue scroll from a bird's nest while I just AFKing some magic logs. Let's see what our reward is. And terrible. All right, got another uh, easy clue scroll done. Let's see what it is. And some garbage. All right, we just got a medium clue from a clue nest. I was actually able to do one. I've dropped about three or four of them because you, you get to a point where it's asking you to wear certain armors and being level three, uh, not possible. So let's see what this reward is. Oh, a black boater. I don't think I have that one yet. So anytime I get a unique, especially, uh, you know, cosmetic, I like to add it in here. I don't think I have any uh, black boaters. That's cool. There we go. Decided to get a small side goal done and broke 14 million experience in woodcutting. I just like having my 99s over 14 million. I mean, fishing, I got 14.2. Cooking, took it a little far with 23 million back in the day. Fire making, 14.5 million. Now, wood cutting, 14 million. The only two I haven't really done is fletching and crafting, mainly because uh, crafting is just expensive. I don't really have the money to, to fund 14 million experience. And fletching is just is really boring, honestly, but um, just a cool little side project and I uh, thought I would share it. Got another medium clue scroll solved from a fishing bottle. Actually, was doing some shark fishing. Oh, and an armadillo page. That's quite nice. I might actually sell this page. Uh, not, not bad for a medium clue. Just got another easy clue completed. This one from fishing. Just been doing some AFK fishing to get my raw supplies and my bank stacks up. I just like how it looks. Let's see what this is. Uh, fail, but uh, 30 easy clues completed on a level three. Love it. Ninety-two farming is completed. Uh, it's a little sad. I'm only halfway there. However, I am proud of the fact 
that I've been doing this skill pretty much for pennies compared to to how much you can really spend on farming supplies. I mean, I'm doing papayas and calquats. So only about 30 to 40 experience a day, but uh, it's probably some of the cheaper farming experience. So we'll just continue to do this. Uh, also, I will add, we do mahoganies, but they take forever to grow. And anytime I get an extra spirit seed, I plant that as well. And that can be some uh, pretty good experience too. So 92 farming, um, like I said, halfway to 99, but not not bad. Um, only two more levels from 1400 total, which is going to look really nice too. There's 82 herb lore. I've pretty much been doing this level while making a profit and the way I'm doing it, it's, it's a really slow method. Essentially what I'm doing, you can see I'm buying the toad flax seeds. I'm farming the toad flax. We'll do a run or two a day, get 30 to 40 of those. And then on top of that, I'm doing the redwood birdhouses to get the crushed nests. So I just gather the supplies myself and make them. It's like I said, quite a slow method, but then I just sell the, uh, the brews and I net some money. So pretty much all this cash is from brews, just selling them. Um, so I'll continue to make these. I got like 62. I'll go to the GE, DK and them, all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's a slow method, but at least I'm not burning through crap through cash to get uh, these herb levels. So that puts me at 1399 total. I'm just one level away from 1400, which will look really nice on a level three. And there's 88 mining completed with 1400 total level, man, that total level, that just looks, that looks so nice to see that. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the ores I've collected over this time period. We'll just go to the bank real quick and we'll get a, a, a little price check about uh, how much we've collected. So I haven't sold off the ores since maybe like 85 mining. So uh, we'll get a, a total coming up. All right, so about 700 gold nuggets. Let's see the total price check, 5K coal. Uh, 3.4k myth or 3.4k gold, 1.8k uh, adamant, and about 170 runite for a total about six and a half mil just in ore. And that pushes me over the edge to level 90. Some type of bat it appears we can catch in raids, which I never do. 1401 total. Believe it or not, I basically did 95% of 89 to 90 hunter here with birdhouse. So it's 1200 per birdhouse. You do it four times. So that's 4800 total. You do it a few times a day and it really starts to add up. Get a ton of nests, ton of seeds. It's actually a pretty good experience. I'll go ahead and uh, we'll go back to the bank and I'll show you all my loot from 89 to 90 hunter and just seeds alone. All right, let's go ahead and total this up. So I've already planted some of the seeds, but I decided I'm not going to use them for farming because um, I just like collecting them now. So I mean, 400K in willow seeds. Uh, got a few palm tree seeds, which are pretty expensive. Yew seeds are pretty Good money, uh, magic, obviously very good. Look at all these maple tree seeds, 1.5 mil in just maple tree seeds, crazy. So almost five mil just in seeds from 89 to 90 hunter. And it literally costs next to nothing. We're talking one redwood log and uh, some cheap barley seeds. Decided to grind out another Quick agility level, quick in quotation marks. It really wasn't that quick. 81 agility is done. <clears throat> Apparently we unlocked some type of Slayer dungeon shortcut. But man, agility is so slow. One of my least favorite skills by far. Here's kind of the loot from um, 80 to 81. I think maybe I had like uh, 15 
marks of grace I'd gotten from a little bit, maybe 20k or so experience when I first started the level. So we'll call it like 60 marks of grace. Um, a couple of random event items. I did do the maze once and I uh, got a little bit of stuff. So uh, we will continue up. That brings us to 1402 total level. Just finished up a medium clue. It was only a two step one. Let's see what we got. Hmm. I don't have this. Mainly junk. All right. I've been doing some mother load mining. I had a good bit of nuggets. So I decided to spend about 480 of them to buy 12 bags. These are 40 each. So let's see uh, if I get anything good. No dragon stones yet. Come on. And no dragon stones at all. Let's see the price check of this. About uh, 500k. So uh, not that great, but uh, it, it adds up. I'll probably leave these uncut actually since I already have 99 crafting, but it uh, looks good in the bank. Another medium clue. Let's see what we got. Ooh, a pink headband. I don't think I have this one yet. So we will add that to the collection. The only thing I've sold off from my clues are some of the more valuable pages. But I think in the future, I'm just going to keep pretty much everything. Unless it's like a very, very just high uh, worth item. So we can add that. Ah, it's looking good. Um, I do have a master clue, which I turned in. I can't really do much into it for it, but uh, I think it's cool to have in the bank. There's 89 mining completed. Man, mining is just, is really slow grind. Let's uh, check on the ore count. I have just been continuing to bank the ores. I haven't sold any off. I'm, I want to see a uh, price check real quick. So we're going to withdraw all these. Not going to do the iron. That doesn't really matter. So we got, uh, let's see, four, almost 5,000 myth, 9,000 coal, 2,600 addy, uh, 4,700 gold, and 286 rune for a total of 10.1 mil just in ores. That's really cool to see. You can see what really adds up the most being the rune and the adamant. Uh, coal prices have tanked because of revs, but now that revs have been nerfed a little, we might see those rebound slightly. Um, and myth is just pretty much worthless. So not bad. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll continue to mine a little in, towards 90. It would, I'd be, it'd be awesome to see this level 90, but uh, as you can see, 500K away. 93 farming in the bag. If you haven't seen my farming method, I recommend you check it out. It's a video called inexpensive level three farming run and so far i've been able to really keep costs down it's it's slow method but uh very cost effective so we got six more to go till we max that one out all right decided to do a couple more gym bags i'm just bored i want to see what i get so it's going to be nine of these let's see what we get in anything good Ooh, dragon stone I think you have a rare chance of getting an uncut onyx, but it's a very, very rare chance. So nine bags leaves us with a profit of about 400K. So I'll add this to the collection here. Looking uh, pretty cool. 9100 is completed still not even halfway i've just been this is kind of a lazy way to train it but i've been doing the right click reset it's a newer update most of this level was gained through doing the redwood birdhouses on F fossil island but i did probably about 150 200k experience here at the black chins